Well, this is what it looked like earlier this week after TxDOT crews were out cleaning up a homeless camp at US 290 and South Congress. Congress. The state owns the right of way there. Just last month, the city of Austin admitted the homeless population has exploded around the city. City now working to get a handle on it and get these people resources. Texans Gary Cooper found out in the meantime, it's hard for people to see what little they have swept away. No one wants to end up like this, especially when ice has been falling from the sky most of the day. But that's life for Roxanne and Brett Borland. It's been five years. This is killing I'm tired. They do have some things. You all, thank God for them for real. They throw away blankets and they'll leave them in the back of the truck. And people, that's probably saved countless lives. I mean, it really has. It sounds funny, but you all, thank God for them, man. This cell phone video shared with us shows TxDOT collecting what little they have at this homeless camp at 290 in South Congress. Well, they took all my baby's pictures. And they took my mother passed away. And they took all the pictures of her and one. On one hand, it keeps Austin clean. On the other hand, they are breaking the law. They say we're trespassing. And the two say they just got a citation for trespassing for $300. I'm no saint, you know what I'm saying? I've had trouble with drug addictions. I've had trouble with alcohol. And we we fought those demons and we won, you know, just to come to this. We reached out to Tech to get more information on their cleanups. We haven't heard back. In the meantime, most of us will watch this from somewhere warm. The Borlands say they will stay under this bridge because they have nowhere else to go. And they'll make the best of their situation. You know, it's not like I got a long time to try to enjoy a little bit of life. In South Austin, Gary Cooper, KXAN News. The service organization Front Steps that runs the Arch Homeless Shelter downtown says on any given night at least 2,100 people are without a home in Austin. The city is trying to do something different. They've recently signed a new contract with the Arch that will reduce the number of beds and work toward a better quality of care. At the same time, the city is looking to add another shelter. City leaders also plan to hire a full-time strategist dedicated to homeless issues.